Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. You might notice that something is just a tad different. Yeah, we're in Minecraft. Why, you ask? Well, we're making a scratch game in it. You may be wondering why I'm doing this to myself. And the reason is, everyone always tries to make Minecraft in Scratch. And I just want to flip the script and make Scratch in Minecraft. Pretty stupid reason, but it's still a reason. Alright, so I made this a little room where we can actually make the Scratch game. And the way we get to it is we go over to this ravine. We have to make this water bucket clutch. Then we come up over here, open this door, and we are in. So this is just a small little room that I made. It's got some stuff for the screen and the chest. It's just got a bed down here. So yeah, we can actually start to make the scratch game now. All right, so the first thing we're going to need to do is actually get to the scratch website. So all I have to do is click on this thing, type in scratch.mit.edu. And there we go, we're on. So I'm going to have to sign in. I don't know how much I can trust this, so let's just uh, hope I don't get hacked. All right, so I signed into my alt. So if it does get hacked, I'm not too upset about it. So as you can see, we have all the featured games. Oh, okay, so I can't move the mouse, so I'm probably cooked unless they all move to the middle. So yeah, we can basically do everything. We can write comments. We can write comments and it will show up on actual Scratch. The main thing about this video is making a scratch game. So let's go ahead and create. Oh, look at that. Okay, so it is a little bit slow, but we can drag out blocks. I'm thinking just to be generic, because it's this account, we're gonna be making Flappy Bird. Except we're gonna make it Minecraft themed. You know why? Because I mean, look around. Why would it not be Minecraft themed? So I think what we're going to do is start off with the player character. We actually can import files. All right, so everything is perfect. I imported the three files. I don't know why it did that a second ago, but we have three files. We have the background, which I'm going to import into backdrop and then I'm gonna make it bigger Ooh, okay I'm having flashbacks of not being able to do this okay there we go make it a bit bigger yeah there we go okay so now we have the sky for the background and we have the player and wood so the wood is going to be the pipes I have no idea why all these things are so huge either by the way it's just weird Ooh, there we go and now we go to Steve. I don't know why I'm standing right up there. I can do it from over here. Yeah, I don't know. I like it over here. This is so much easier than VR. VR was hard. Okay, so we have a Steve head, a low quality image in the background, and our wood. So I'm just going to edit the wood costume to actually make it into a pipe. Alright, so we have the pipes and Steve. I finished the pipe costume. It's um, a little bit, has a couple imperfections, obviously. I couldn't get it perfect because, I mean, I don't have access to the shift key unless I did this. But I can't use the keyboard and the mouse at the same time, unfortunately. So anyways, I think it is time to start coding. So for the player, it's pretty simple. He starts falling down and he can't touch the edges, basically. One flag clicked. Go there, and let's do that, and then press zero, and then we'll make a variable for this sprite only. We will call it, call it gravity. Oh, why'd it go out? Oh no. Gravity. Can I not make variables? Oh no, because if I press escape, then that goes away. The gravity of this situation is horrible. I don't know if I can make variables. Okay, at least I have this one. That's good. Oh no, that's so bad. Okay, I don't think we need any more variables other than this one. So we might be fine, I hope. That's good. And then just some polishing. We will point in direction. 
my variable divided by 2 plus 90. It should work. And then all I have to do, drag a minus to there. And... No. Okay. Um, so not minus. I forget how do I do this. Okay, because he's like pointing up when he's falling as opposed to down. Oh, okay. I think I get it now. Minus my variable. Yeah, there you go. And then I might have to remove the divided. Yeah, there we go. That's not bad. Alright, so I think the player is done. Other than death, but I, I'll add that right now, actually. Oh, I just realized. How are we going to have a score if we uh, can't create variables? Oh, okay. I think I might have an idea. I don't know how well it would work, though, actually. No. Yeah, it, it will work. It will work. Theoretically, if we go to another project, then if we backpack it and we enter it into this project, then the variables go into there. Okay, that's nice. That's smart. That's smart. All right, so let's just find a random project that has uh, preferably minimal variables. I'm just going to delete everything. I'll just choose a random one of those. And I'll add a set score to. And now if we backpack the sprite and then we go back here backpack drag this here and there we go okay nice so that is how i made a variable that is really good though that we now have that can i not okay there we go large readout and there we go nice we have our score counter now now wood mc here's how we're going to tackle this so one flag clicked i'm not going to bore you with me making the pipes so let's just say i did this all right so there we go let's make sure the pipes kill you yes they do all right i'm just gonna add some sound effects really quickly i would add like a steve oof sound but i'm not gonna do all that really. i am going to add some background music though sweden okay all right i think we're doing this one so now that we have that we can go back into here backdrop sounds backpack import that one flag clicked forever play sound until done let's go ahead and start the game dang it okay i'm, I'm very bad okay so lesson learned i'm very bad at flappy bird all right i'm gonna add a worldwide high score now actually if I can make a cloud variable. Oh wait, I think I was overcomplicating stuff because I just pressed enter and it made the variable. Um, okay, I, I was definitely overcomplicating. I legitimately did not know that. So we can test it out now. All right, I'm still very bad. But now I'm just going to name it, add instructions, and I'm gonna share. All right, so that's Scratch, but in Minecraft. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Goodbye. I forgot to press share.